What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. And man, when I first heard this story about how much Daisy Ridley is going to make to show up in this Ray movie that they're still talking about doing, man, I fell out laughing. I really haven't stopped laughing, to be very honest with you. Um, this is absolutely insane. This is the report. This is on CBR. Uh, Daisy Ridley scores a massive payday for an upcoming Star Wars movie. A new report reveals how much Daisy Ridley is set to make for reprising her role as Ray Palpatine in another Star Wars movie. Yeah, so I don't understand what they're doing, and I'll just jump right to it, all right? Uh, this is according to uh, the N. Snyder, Jeff Snyder. Um, Ridley is set to make $12.5 million uh, in this Ray movie. $12.5 million to show up in a movie that nobody wants to watch. Nobody is coming to see this movie, Lucasfilm. I'm I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this or not. Nobody's going to come and watch this movie because this is a character that nobody likes. And this is a character that nobody wants to see again. You know, let me get the obligatory. It's not about Daisy Ridley. It's not about Daisy Ridley. Yeah, it's not. It's about the character of Ray. Ray is a trash character. She is a garbage character. Nobody likes this character. Get this character as far away from Star Wars. You would do well. To forget that you ever created this character, that you would do well to get away from the sequel trilogy. Just get as far away from the sequel trilogy era as humanly possible. That's how you start to fix Star Wars. Let's get away from this era that destroyed Star Wars and quit trying to fix it. They're trying to do this because, okay, maybe we can fix Rey. You really can't. I mean, there's some things you can do to make Rey a little bit more palatable. But you've destroyed your franchise with this character, not only this, just this character, but by shitting all over Luke, Han, and Leia. It's like, just just go. Just go somewhere else and just rebuild Star Wars in a different era. That's the only thing that you can do at this point. Uh, but yeah, $12.5 million. That's how much Daisy Ridley is going to get for this film. And honestly, I mean, that's smart. That's smart of Daisy Ridley. If I was Daisy Ridley and I knew that I was going to be showing up in a movie that wasn't going to do my career any good, you know, you're not doing any wonders for my career. Keep throwing me back into this character, guys. Yeah, I, I mean, I, that's going to cost you, all right? It's going to cost you a little bit of this. How much money you want to give me? All right, because, no, nah, I ain't feeling this. This is dumb. But, yeah, this is where they're at. Um, you know, the plot details are scarce. Uh, the movie will reportedly follow Ridley's Ray as she rebuilds the Jedi Order again, just slapping Luke in the face. Just pouring more, like, acid on this franchise. Yeah, let's give um, Ray the role of Luke and him, you know, instead of him rebuilding the Jedi Order, she's going to rebuild the Jedi Order. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, with the character stepping into a mentor role similar to the one Obi-Wan, Kenobi, and Luke Skywalker played in the original and sequel trilogies, respectively. Look, nobody wants this character. Nobody wants to see this character. People do not like this character. So whatever amount of money you're spending on top of this $12.5 million, just consider it lost. Whatever money they're putting into this, if they spend, you know, $100 million, that's $100 million down the drain plus whatever marketing you spent because you're not going to get this money back. This money, I, I'm just, I, it, it amazes me that Lucasfilm continues to double and triple down on this character. And I don't understand it. This character is just not interesting. You know, she's not interesting no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try. This character is never going to be picked up and loved by the fans. Okay. I discussed this on a video where I'm talking about how you contrast Ray and Luke and how Luke is just beloved character. He's, he's timeless. He's a timeless character because that's the way George Lucas wrote him. He wrote him to be a timeless character that could get picked up and loved throughout all generations. And they just haven't done that with Ray. And, and, and unfortunately, you know, the entire sequel trilogy was botched. You had an opportunity to do a nice little smooth handoff, but they didn't do it. And so now they're going to they have to fork over tons of money. All right. To get this chick to agree to sign back up for this thing. I would just tell him no. You know, personally, but I mean, her career ain't been going like all together that great. So I guess this is one of the reasons why it's like, well, shit, man, I ain't doing nothing anyway. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah, let me cash in. Let me cash in on these chips. You know, I'm putting all my I'm putting my entire career in the middle of the table. I'm gonna cash in on this joint. So, yeah, twelve point five million. I ain't mad at Daisy for that. Yeah, we got the uh, same story, but this is on uh, Yahoo Entertainment. But they got some uh, comments. Let's see what folks are saying. We got one from uh, Derek. Hey, nice name. <laughs> uh, seems like a lot of money for a movie. The real fans are yelling they don't want. 
Hollywood refuses to make movies for the fans that support with their dollars versus virtue signaling to the fans that just tweet and sit on social media but will never show. Well, exactly, man. Like, Hollywood refuses. Here's the thing. Hollywood refuses to make movies for the fans because they think you're going to just show up time and time and time again. You'll be there. And now we got to try to build an audience with other people outside of the general fan base. We got to entice those cats to come on in. And so when they go to social media, because that's the only homework they really do, they don't actually go out and talk to real people. They just sit on social media and Twitter and Facebook and they see what folks is talking about on there. And all of those people. Oh, yeah, man, we love Star Wars, blah, 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 blah. Right. But see, those people don't show up like they do, like we do. We show up and we show out, okay? We're the ones that are dropping heavy money into Star Wars. We're going to buy every action figure. We're going to buy everything that we can get our hands on when it comes to Star Wars. We're going to go see the movie five, six, seven times, you know, to try to dissect all the nuance of a Star Wars film. They're not interested in those fans. That's who we are, okay? Uh, the fans like us, we will go there and watch something five, six, seven times so we can understand it and have intelligent conversations with our buddies. You know, as we're sitting around the, you know, the table at the lunchroom or whatever, arguing Star Wars or whatever. That's why we go and we watch stuff over and over and over. All right. But these cats that are on social media, man, they just want a virtue signal. Right. They want a virtue. Hollywood wants the virtue signal and these fans want a virtue signal. All they want to do is just tweet. And sit on social media, but they don't show up. So, yeah, Derek, great comment, bro. 100% right. And here we got Chris. Uh, Bob Iger gets paid $30 million for running Disney into the ditch. Might as well give Mary Sue or Ray Palpatine $12 million for a movie that's going to lose more money than the Marvels. Oh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. This thing is going to lose so much bread for Disney and for Lucasfilm. It's not even funny. The Marvels, it's going to lose. I mean, you got to figure they're going to spend more money on this Ray movie than they spent on the Marvels. And the Marvels, they spent $275 million to only make, what, $200 million worldwide? I mean, and I don't know if the Ray movie has enough to get it to $200 million worldwide. I really don't know where the interest in this character is coming from. Why do they think this thing is going to make any money? Why do they think people care about this character? They will wait for Disney+. Plus. Oh, you better believe it. Oh, yeah, Disney plus this thing, man. Nah, I'm good. Why would I want to go out and see this movie, especially, again, considering how high ticket prices are? Are you kidding me? Why would I want to go out and watch this garbage character in theaters, you know, paying for the ticket, paying for the popcorn and the soda and everything? That's like a you know, $50, $60 trip to the theater if I'm taking my girl. Why in the hell am I? No, 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 no. I mean, these guys have got to be kidding, man. But, I mean, again, they don't think, all right? They don't think. They don't see what they're doing. You know, again, they're, they're worried, like they were saying, they're worried about this. They're worried about virtue signaling to fans and fans that are just on social media. But they'll go and they'll check it out. They won't even go. Honestly, they won't even go and see this movie. They're not going to go see this movie either. All right, Disney, just in case you guys was confused, they're going to sit up here and praise and clap and all of that kind of nonsense. And then they ain't going to go see the film or they'll pirate it. You know what I mean? Like they're not real serious fans like that. You should be making this movie for Star Wars fans. Utter utterly ridiculous. And here we got uh, not PC, a movie no one asked for with the character no one liked. A Disney seems intent on running Star Wars into the ground further. 100 percent. 100 percent. That's exactly what it is, because it's Disney Star Wars. You see, that's the difference. It's Disney Star Wars, because Disney doesn't understand Star Wars. Disney doesn't understand what Star Wars fans are looking for. Neither does Kathleen Kennedy or anybody over there in the Lucasfilm story group or any of them cats. Dave Filoni, John Favreau, they don't understand what Star Wars fans are looking for. That's how a movie no one asks for with a character no one like gets made. That's how that happens, because you don't understand your fan base. You have no connection to them. And so you just make slop that nobody's asking for. And you pay the star $12.5 million to do it. Unreal, man. Uh, let's see. Rick Grimes says, last year, China began working on the Cola Super Deep Borehole, even if they reach their goal by digging further in, farther into the Earth's surface than man has to date. They will still not be as low as my interest in this movie. I was wondering where this comment was going. I was about to clip it. Yeah, yeah 100%, man. 100%. Yeah, they will not ever get that as low. OK, you got to get to the Earth's core, in my opinion, uh, before you get to my interest in this film. 
Yikes, man. It's, it's just going to be a disaster. And then you got Geo here. Uh, Disney has yet to learn from movies like the Marvels. Uh, most Star Wars and action movie viewers are men over 30 or 40. So creators need to adapt to changing demographics and embrace a wider audience. Well, I, I don't know about that one, man. Like, like he's right about this part. Disney has yet to learn from movies like the Marvel. Absolutely. Most Star Wars and action movies viewers are men over 30 and 40. So I don't know what he means by adapt to changing demographics. I'm not sure what that means or uh, embrace a wider audience. I think you just embrace the audience that's coming to watch a movie. Men over 30 and 40. You, you embrace those people. And you say, all right, these are the guys that we're making our films for. You know, it's just like the Marvels. Like, what, what, what do we say about the Marvels? The Marvels, 65% male. That's who went and watched this movie in theaters. It was 65% male leaning. That's who was showing up to watch this movie. 35% women, which again shows you women aren't coming to check for this, even though you had three female leads, all right, a female villain, female director, written by women, women didn't show up. It, because again, it's a movie, uh, it's an action movie, just like Star Wars action movie, and that's who's coming to watch it, men over the ages of 30 and 40. Or men, period. You don't even necessarily need, in my opinion, need to like pigeonhole it all the way down to the ages. But yeah, men are going to show up for this. Not women, okay? Not the women. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say the changing demographics, you know, you want to expand your fan base. I get that part. But I think you just make Star Wars. You just make a Star Wars movie like George Lucas would have made it. You know, Star Wars is a timeless classic. Make timeless mythology and you'll be just fine. You know, but no, what they want to do is they want to say, oh, well, you know, even though it's only men that are going to show up for this thing, men over the ages of 30 and 40. You know, let's throw Daisy Ridley back in there. Let's give her all of this bread. You know, let's have this director come out here. Uh, Charmino Bates Noy. She's going to direct it. Never directed anything like this before, but she's going to direct it. Like these are the decisions that these cats are making because they care about ideology. You know, so men are some men are coming to check for this, not women. And your director is on record as saying, I love making men uncomfortable. I really love making men feel uncomfortable. I put activism in everything I do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the guys are ecstatic about this. Oh, man, I can't wait to see all of this activism and feminism all over my Star Wars film. Golly gee, where's this been my entire life? Like, it's just going to be hot garbage, y'all. So yeah, Disney has yet to learn from movies like the Marvels. All right. They're going to continue to double and triple down on the BS. You know, they won't pull their heads out of their asses until they finally just say, you know what? We got to sell this thing, man. That's all we can do. We just got to sell it. All right. There's no other there's no other choice because we can't do this, which is simple. You know, just do what George did 40 plus years ago. Just do what George did 40 plus years ago. You'll be just fine. It's unbelievable. Anyway, guys, you let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.